Okay. How do you make rye? <coughs> well, I'm going to use cardboard because that's going to be uh, a lot simpler for a lot of people. And I've done 10 millimeter lines on that. And just in case it was a bit out of focus. Okay. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is just cut along the line. And it doesn't need to be perfect because a stray light gets in and that helps. You're not making a, a blackout. All you're doing is making support. And uh, once you've populated your LED board, then uh, you can make the uh, surround. Now, the LED board is um, quite compact and that's because I wanted to get as many LEDs on there but not a lot of people will have the expertise to do that by hand. Um, if you've got a um, surface mount um, reflow oven, brilliant, you'll have no problems at all. But if you've only got a soldering iron, what I recommend is you do every other LED. And that way you won't get yourself in uh, a mess. Okay? Now this is what this is what we're trying to uh, achieve. Okay, just four walls. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take the wall off. And as you can see, it's very, very easy. Okay, so we've now got our LED board. And all I do is measure between the wires to start with. And again, it doesn't have to be super accurate. And we'll do the one down the bottom. And again, I'm only using butt joints, I'm not using uh, fancy um, joints in order to achieve this. And then we go on the side. The wire leaving a little bit of a gap at that end for the uh, one going along the bottom. And if you want, you can put them in the positions that you cut them in. Mm, just to help you. Okay, now the glue I use is this, oops, just bog standard pound shop glue. Okay, now the way I do it is I have a little shop glass, pardon me, plastic one. I don't put a lot of uh, glue in there, just a little bit, because I'm not going to glue this down rock hard, or anything like that. And then I've got a little tusk pick. And all I do is pull the glue at the bottom of the shot glass, 
Got a little bit on the end of my uh, stick and just run it along. And don't worry if you get any on the LEDs. You're more likely to get glue all over your fingers if uh, you're not uh, too careful. So I'm just uh, doing two row, uh, adjoining uh, sections. And the only reason for that is so that I've got a, an L shape that I can uh, put together. And when I put uh, it and I put some on the end of the cardboard. There's the right hand piece. Now you'll see that that is too long. Now I've done that deliberately so that um, I can show you how not to worry when that's dry you can um, sort it out. I think I'll put a bit more uh, glue in than that. Oops, really. Like I said, don't worry if you get any over the um, LEDs.
simple just by applying a bit of glue in each corner. We'll hold that to lock together. And now we wait until that's gone off and I'll show you how to uh, make that so that this can then be fitted. Okay, this is uh, now dry. We put the fourth piece in and I'll show you how I do that. I glued there, glued that in, on there, and on there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm doing this with my left hand so that you can see. Probably got the camera in the wrong place, haven't I? There's a lot of shadow from my other lights. Um, okay. Well, I'll see what this video turned out like, and uh, I might put it up, I might not. Alright, and all I do with this piece I just cut it off like that. Okay, it's not smart, but uh, it doesn't have to be smart. When I uh, recorded the first part of this video, it was sunny outside. And now I'm just relying on the lights in here. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm doing now is just running a bead of glue along the top and that will uh, do two things. It'll uh, strengthen the cardboard a little 
but also prepare the cardboard for the fitting oops, sorry, of the solar panel. Like I said before, you don't have to be 100% perfect. <coughs> what I normally do is just get a weight and pop it on like that. Yeah, if this uh, shadow is too much, then I'll uh, redo it in daylight. We'll make another one. Okay, testing time. I've uh, <coughs> already got the uh, mod module hooked up to the power supply, so I'm not uh, looking at. I'm not looking at uh, input and output voltages. I'm just doing it to show that the light board is producing a voltage. Which I hope you can see there. Off the solar panel. And that's how you make a Ra. So why did I call it Ra? It's after the sun god. It's got a solar panel. But it runs off light. <laughs> but it, it means that I can short out the solar panel without affecting the dual thief input and that was my aim um, the safety the safety part making batteries safe for disposal was an accident I wasn't designing this to do that I was designing this to uh, be another charging system for the electric car my nice EV well I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, once again, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, I will do my best next time. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you did, and you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get my uh, notification of all my videos when they go up. And... Um, like, share, do all those sort of things. And um, please, above all else, please stay safe.